Hello and welcome back. I'm Bball Joe and this is a tutorial for Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Today, electricity. Let's start out. Electricity has two things that you need to worry about, or two sizes. Click on infrastructure and there's high voltage wires and medium vo uh, voltage wires. Let's start with the high voltage wire, uh, wires. There are different megawatt options. The biggest one, 18 megawatt. The smallest one, 4 megawatts. Now, you don't need to put the highest voltage wire, wires everywhere. Sometimes it matters on what your consumption is and you can calculate the consumption by looking at your buildings, any buildings, and it will tell you max uh, wattage circuit breaker, 60 kilowatts. Uh, and then max power consumption per day is 3.6 megawatts per hour. The megawatts per hour to get the number that you want, just divide it by 60 because an hour is 60 seconds. That's how the code works. So 3.6 megawatts divided by 60 seconds means you need about 0.6 megawatts in your wire um, for this building. And you can add them together for all the other buildings. In this case, let's just start when you go to the border and you click, you click on any of the of the wires, you will get this yellow electricity signal sign here. When I start, I usually just take the biggest wire that I have or the biggest um, connections that I have and build those. If you auto build them, this is how they're done. Great. Um, then you have high voltage switch. This one you can feed in one or two and out one. It's however you want to do it. Um, and you do the same thing. You can hover over your pylon and you connect them to the next thing. That's getting built. Wonderful. Then there's one more thing. Um, in here you can see the power transformer. The power transformer takes in one high voltage wire um, and splits it out into medium voltage wires. There are some of these on the... Uh, some of mods that you could use, um, or you just use the vanilla ones. Both are fine. Um, to connect to this stuff that's around here, you need the medium voltage wires. There again are three different versions. The largest one, 2.3 megawatts, and so on, and smaller. The math is still the same. When you click on one of these, you can either connect to the border post if you want, or you can connect to the wires that we just connected. Um, Placing these is exactly the same, nothing new there, but there's one more thing you have to do before you can use electricity, an electric substation. Electric substation looks like this. It has a small symbol, and if you compare these, that's a, that's a high voltage wire to the right, and to the left, it's a medium voltage wire. That's the, that's the difference. You place it anywhere you want. You connect the wires that you have chosen. Now. Note that you cannot connect different wires. If you have one wire already built and trying to connect another wire, it will tell you can connect two different types of wire. So make sure you use the right wire to connect to what you want. It will build it, and now this station will tell you building is without power supply, but we have everything connected. So that's one more thing you need. Go to where you connected to the border, and you have two options, export and import. Both by default are set to nothing, 0%, and you can only do one or the other. You cannot import and export at the same time at the same border post. To begin, um, you usually see this error message now. Just set this to whatever you need. If you set it to 100%, you will only pay for what you need, but you will um, use up to 100% of 18 megawatts, which it was this station can, uh, can put out. And you can see that here in this little um meter as well and the the numbers down here are also written and now you see the electric substation has power and this is all you need and now you can place other buildings that require power most buildings do you have this little yellow line that tells you how far the connection actually works at some point i think it's a little more than 300 meters three 330 is the max ish um, once you go over that, you will not have power anymore. If you're closer than that, you will have power. Only other thing I will tell you, the more buildings you place, and I'll just place a couple random ones here to show you something. Look at the power connection consumption of the um, substation. At some point, you will hit the max of 2.5 megawatts. 
It's going to be a lot more buildings than these, and it's more important for industrial areas. But if your power um, total is bigger than what you can supply, you will have problems with power and you will see lights flicker in your buildings or in your streets or in other places, and that just means you overloaded your power grid. Just add another uh, substation and you can take care of that. And that's all there is. This is Power. I hope you learned something. If you did, like and subscribe. If you didn't, let me know what else you want to know. And I'll see you again in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.